Hi YouTube family. So today I'm in the kitchen and I'm working on a few things to put some added details into the space that are going to make it much more easy to be organized and to clean. I really want to focus on the drawers and inside the covers. It's just a detail that I didn't get done before the reveal that I really want to go back and make sure I do now before I get ahead of myself working on any of the new projects that we have starting soon once we're done the kitchen pantry slash laundry room. But there's one regret that I have in the kitchen that I think I should show you because I'm hoping maybe if you've had this problem, you might have a solution for me because I have one huge regret on the kitchen that is driving me crazy that I want to show you and see what you think. Okay, so you know I put in a beautiful farmhouse sink. It was my absolute dream sink. I picked an amazing gooseneck faucet with the sprayer. I absolutely love the era that it looks like the faucet came with. I even went as far as to make sure that the drain inserts were the same color as the faucet. But look at the problem I'm having with the sink. So this is the problem that I'm having. Every time a pot or frying pan or even just any of our regular plates touches the top of the sink here, which naturally your dishes will go from one side across to the other. If they hit it, I'm left with these black marks that will not come off no matter what I've put on them. And I looked online and I think there's some type of a cast iron material gel or something that I can rub on them, but I'm just not sure I wanna spend the money to order it and then it not work. So I'm just wondering if anyone's tried it or if anyone else has a sink like this and has had the same experience, what did you do to solve the problem? What I wanna do now, I know you saw when I did the actual built-in pantry cupboard that's in there that I'm using as a baking cupboard that I used this easy liner to be able to put on a Mac tack bottom. It was similar to this, but this one is actually foam. So what I wanna do is cut this. It looks like a foam marble, very similar to the countertop or as close as I could possibly find. And I wanna cut it so that I can line it on the inside of all of my drawers. That way it's gonna be super clean. So I've gone ahead and put a clear coat on the inside part of the wood here. So that will be able to wipe off easily. So now I wanna make sure that the bottom can be cleaned out you know, stuff it with a vacuum if you get crumbs or something in it and just make it look really appealing when you open and shut the drawer. I think that's gonna look really nice. So I'm gonna cut it after measuring it and see what I think on the first drawer. If I like it, I'll carry on and do the rest. So while I was working on the kitchen renovation, I found a bunch of these bamboo drawer organizers and I think they fit the vibe of the kitchen really well. And I like the way they look, just having that wood element into the drawers here. And so I'm actually gonna display them and then be able to organize a bunch of the kitchen stuff. And so I put now in the liner on the bottom here. Remember, it is that really nice, like a foam kind of plasticky material. So it will be easy to wipe out. I'm gonna put just a little piece of double-sided tape in the middle. But once the drawer organizers are in here, you actually won't see any or have any shuffling at all of the organizers. And then I'll have lots of space to be able to put other little containers and things that I need to, to store things and sort things out to be super organized in the kitchen. So I think all in all, that is a much better way than having just the raw wood at the bottom. So I'm outing myself a little bit here, but since we moved into this late 1800s home and we had zero kitchen. I hope you saw the transformation from start to finish working on this kitchen room. But remember, this room that we built the kitchen was not the original room for the kitchen. The original kitchen room was where we're building our walk-in pantry laundry room, which by the way, will be where our fridge is, those of you who have been asking in the comment section of the kitchen reveal. But I need to reveal the truth that, I'll be completely honest, almost all of the drawers and cabinets that are in my kitchen are empty. I know I have so much storage now, but I actually haven't been accumulating things for the kitchen because we didn't have one this whole time. We've been crock potting, barbecuing, toaster ovening, using sandwich press and all the other kitchen utensils that we've kept very minimal items that we've needed to be able to cook in the kitchen this whole time we've been here because there wouldn't have been any point in me finding things to have in the kitchen and then having to store them. 
in the room we were trying to build in or in an additional room where we have building materials waiting or even other rooms that are already finished. It would just create clutter and chaos that we didn't need. So I'm now at the point where I need to start acquiring things that we're going to use in the kitchen space. I picked up a KitchenAid mixer. The boys and Philip bought me a mixer, a nice hand mixer for baking and the larger KitchenAid mixer, an emulsion blender and a food processor. It's a set all together and it matches everything that we're doing in the spaces. So I absolutely love it. Um, and I already have like muffin tins and a few baking pans. But other than that, I need to start getting things that we need for the kitchen space. So let me know in the comments section, what are your absolute must have things for your kitchen space? Because I'm going to be starting to look for things to fill up some of my cupboards here. But keep in mind, I wanna keep things pretty minimalist because we don't wanna have a lot of extra clutter, just really useful tools that I can have in the kitchen. So let me know. Before we get too far working on the rest of the pantry laundry room renovation, we need to take down our storm boards. We put it on the inside of the pantry room and the outside so we can let some light back in this space. We used any scrap wood that we had to be able to board this up to make sure that we were safe for Hurricane Fiona. Luckily, we had no damages if you didn't see that video. But it's time to get the light back in here. So much better. Thank goodness we were able to release her from these boards. So much better with all of the light in and I still have to take the boards off of the back window, but for now I can at least work in here and get the clear coat done on this tile that I did. So if you remember, I used my Cricut to be able to create this Aztec pattern and then be able to reuse these white tiles that were on the wall already in the pantry. There was some on the wall here that were completely chipped and on the other side. So we're rectifying those walls to just be smooth. And then we're gonna have this gorgeous pattern along the back. I love the pop of color that it brings but I have yet to clear coat this. So I wanna put on a polycrylic to make sure that this can get wiped off and clean, especially since I kinda of want it as a backsplash here where I'm going to have this farmhouse sink with a gold faucet and it's just needs to be wipe offable in this sort of messy sink spot that I'm gonna have here where the laundry is. And if you miss a video where we did the gold on the laundry, you wanna go back and check it out. These are spray painted and I absolutely love them and I think it totally goes with the vibe and the sight line from the kitchen just gives me all the feels of the bright color and then that gold carried from the kitchen into the pantry room. Okay, let's get this clear coated. So I'm going to use this Minwax Polycrylic and I'm using a clear satin. I don't want it super shiny and I'm just gonna use a throwaway brush because the polycrylic really hardens. It's not as washable at the end, so I'll just toss that at the end. And I'm going to brush this on and I wanna probably do at least three coats to make sure it's super durable. So right now it's looking really shiny in the light because it's wet and as it dries, it's going to look more of just a really satin finish. 
be able to have it completely dry and then go back over it with two or three more coats. So I got a few things of progress accomplished today in the kitchen and the pantry laundry room here. I'm really excited because tomorrow the weather is supposed to be great and we're going to head outside and start cutting and getting ready to do the doors for the pantry and getting this room finished up this week. We had a little bit of a setback in terms of timeline because of the hurricane prep but we are back on track to get this room completed and I can't wait for the final reveal which will be coming up really soon. So stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. If you're new to our channel hit subscribe and if you missed our kitchen reveal you don't want to miss out. I will leave the card above. See you tomorrow.